All right, so welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Edgar. All right, so it's like two o'clock right now, like 2 p.m. and I still haven't ate breakfast yet. So that's what I'm about to make next. Bowl, oatmeal. Can you guys guess what I'm gonna make? Just guess, just guess, just guess. I'm making an acai bowl. <laughs> I, I eat this like every morning. If, if it's not that, then I'm either just have like a fruit or something. All right, so I usually put like a bunch of oatmeal, like at least like this much. Granola. Now with the granola, I usually only get like a handful, so like... And I have to make sure that I put the granola nice and gently. Alright, now a lot of people are probably asking like, how do you make your own acai bowls? Like, what the hell? I usually get these packs. I get them like at Sam's Club or something, or like Costco. No, I, I think it's Costco. Yeah, it might be Costco. I just have like a bunch of them at my house, and I usually just use two. I think that's how much it says you're supposed to use anyways. So I usually just use two. I could be wrong though, I could be eating like a bunch, and I could but like, one thing that I have noticed after I started eating this is I don't really like eating meat in the morning <laughs> or at all, to be honest. If I do eat meat, it's like probably for dinner or like when I'm about to go to sleep. So yeah, I usually eat this so I can get more energy and usually later on, I usually go skate. And one thing that I noticed is if I eat like a shitty breakfast for breakfast, <laughs> yeah, I'll do like three like little ollies. Then I would want to go sit down on my board and just talk to a bunch of the homies. But when I do eat a good breakfast, you know, I have like a bunch of energy and like I'm super hyped to go skate. It's confusing, it's confusing. I'm usually not that hungry if I don't go skate. But a lot of the time after I go skate, I I usually eat like a bunch, like everything. Like let's say I go skate after eating this. When I get home, I'm probably gonna eat like a bunch of these or something. They're like dark chocolate cookies or something. All right, so first things first, I was in my math class. Bored as hell, bored as hell. <laughs> So where's the first data? So where's the first data? Yeah, I don't know. Let's go to the mall or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say me and David are like a thing now or something or whatever. I don't want to kiss and tell. But David, if you're watching this. There's no way, bro. This guy's a size 16. This guy's a size 16. And then I went to hunt, you know, got to mess around with everyone. The clips, roll them. Oh, so sexy, bro. All right, this, <laughs> this sweater might be a little dirty, but. You said he's a fucking hobo? All right, all right, all right. Look how cute I look with this sweater. All right. Hold on. <laughs> cute as hell, bro. This, this guy's cute as hell. God damn, bro. Uh. You know, what can I say? JD was just feeling himself that day. What can I say? JD was just feeling himself that day. I mean, like... Sing the lyrics, bro. Sing the lyrics. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Isaiah sucks so bad on my penis. Okay, so recently, like about a week ago or something, I had a dream about... The only thing I really remember was I had a dream that I was juggling, but it was so weird. It felt so... It felt so... Satisfying. I was just juggling so perfectly. I was juggling three hacky sacks and it just felt so satisfying because I was doing it like so perfectly. And I just kept on juggling and then I woke up. And that's the only thing I remember that I was juggling and it felt so satisfying. So ever since I had that dream, now I kind of wanted to learn how to juggle. I don't know if there's like a right way or a wrong way. So, how to juggle? Um, oh, wired. Oh, you already know why I got the best stuff. Let's watch this one. Hi, my name is Jack Calvin. Ooh, Jack Calvin? All right, Mr. Jack. Wait, this guy's a professional juggler? All right, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's called the Cascade. All right, the Cascade. The ca I, I like this guy already. I like this guy already. What the? I think I got that. All right, practice throwing one ball. Yeah, I think I got that. I think I got that. Yo, what's up with this guy? I thought he was a professional. What's up with this guy? No, I don't know how I feel about Jack no more. Like, actually, Jack more like, yeah, I can't throw a ball with my eyes closed. Oh, juggling three? All right, all right, all right. I think I got this. This is only too hard. This looks pretty easy. Not even gonna lie. This is, this looks pretty easy. Just like the push-ups, like if you guys haven't seen the last video. I know it's not easy, but we want to try to keep everything in one plane here. We don't want anything to go forward. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're talking about juggling right now. I don't think we're talking about plane. This guy's bringing up, like, all types of stuff, like... 
First it was plain, now it was like two bought like this guy, dude, this guy. Yo, 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 what is this guy doing? Yo, yo, what the fuck? All right, I think I got that. To be honest, I think I got that. All right, good looks, Mr. Jack. Good looks, good looks. All right. Wait, wait a second. So you're telling me this guy's a professional juggler? This guy's been touching balls professionally? This guy, dude, this guy. And I thought I was a professional. This guy makes you sound gayer and gayer by the second, bro. Yo, this guy, dude. Right, so this, this is what I got. This is what I'm wearing with right now. I got two limes and an apricot. Yeah, they're like about the same size, so it shouldn't throw me off that much. My goal is to juggle at least all three by the end of today. See, there's no buffoolery right here. It's, it's an actual lime. I'll eat it right now after if you guys want me to. I mean, so real lime, I swear to... Oh, oh, oh. This is pretty easy. Well, I'm pretty sure I can do two. It doesn't seem that hard, so... I did two. Let's go. I could I could officially juggle two balls now. Let's go. I mean, now that I like, I already had. I'm, I'm scared that's gonna hit the camera. I think he said to do this one until so you could do it ten times in a row. I think that's what he said. I don't know. I'm not no juggling professional or anything, so don't they get my word for it? One. Fuck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, that counts. Six, seven. Oh my god. A few inches later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. All right, eleven. Oh, you saw that? I was so close. Oh my god. Okay, I only get a couple tries, or else this apricot's gonna fall. So I gotta be careful with the apricot. No! <laughs> this is harder than I thought. This wasn't like, well, my... This wasn't what my... This wasn't what... Wait, no. This wasn't what my dream was like at all. <laughs> Why did it take me so long to say that? Alright, I'm gonna at least do one rotation of three. And once I, and once I catch all three of them in one rotation, that counts. To me, it counts. I'm gonna be satisfied with that. Cause I don't think I could be doing this for a long time. Cause this seems hard. Oh, you saw that. Right? Oh, you saw that, right? Let's go. Oh, that was almost perfect. That was easy. Why is it getting so easy now? Whoops. I told you it was real. I told you it was real. One thing I learned is that juggling is hard. Um, I technically did it, but I wouldn't really count it. So I'm gonna have this like an ongoing thing on my channel. Same with like the push-ups. So next video, I'm gonna have the juggling and the push-ups in the same video. I don't know, something about juggling, it feels like the, the second that I juggled three, it felt like I was skating. Like when you land a new trick or you just barely got on your board after a long time and it feels so good. That's what it felt like. I'm gonna try to keep on doing three. If not, I'm gonna do four. Anyways, and then after that, I went to hunt, met up with Marie. I told her to do front board off, off the ledge thing. I don't even know what you even call that. It's like half ledge. It's like half a ledge and then it's like a half nub thing. I don't know what she called it. You know, I'm gonna just stop talking. Play the clip, play the clip. <laughs> Bro, that was steezy as hell. Steezy as hell. <laughs> that fall was pretty funny. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna play it again. I'm gonna play it again. <laughs> How do you fall in, and it wasn't even on a front board, actually? Hey, you drink Bud Light, huh? You drink Bud Light? <laughs> nah. Oh, you said only on Wednesdays? All right, bro, this was for the, the fat people. Oh! Oh!
going back to back. Hey, three shove, three shove. Oh, I said Ollie North 180? Oh, damn. Damn, damn. Oh, damn, 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 damn bro. Well, I'm gonna go skate right now anyway. So if you guys see me in person, say what's up. All right, ladies. Feel like they can go be big. First time here like a bitch. New clothes, you go for the shot. Gary does up the Miata with the song. Like, I'm actually- Fuck. Hello, <laughs>